Hey everybody, I'm just kind of testing how camera positions. Right now I got y'all sitting on my piano. I can prove it. Piano. Anyway, um, yeah, it's working out pretty good down here. I've been getting y'all's comments, and I thank you for all the love. I really do. Um, yeah, I'm still looking, you know, if I can find anything better. I most certainly will jump on that, but for now, this ain't so bad. I mean, it's better than what I had. Man, I can't stand crackheads, and I can't stand coke addicts. And that's exactly what the old landlord was, or is. And I hate, I hate that my brother has to deal with him still. I hate that. It, it hurts. But I don't know what else I can do. You know, technically, he told me I had to leave, so I left. He didn't say my brother had to leave. Thank God. But I just, I don't know. He was alright until he started up on that powder. And I mean, you know what? I don't care who knows. It's his fault, right? If he gets busted, he gets busted. I really don't care. It ain't got nothing to do with my brother. He, my brother don't do the shit, so... That's just, uh... I got no use for people like that. I just don't. I mean, I don't mind people that smoke weed, okay? That's cool, but... When you start getting into those hard drugs, that's... It changes people. I know, I've been there. I don't think there's a drug that I haven't done that doesn't require a needle. Because I don't do needles. But if it don't require a needle, chances are I've done it. I know what it does. And I'll never go back to that, ever. No. I've been clean of that. More than 30 years, probably. I will not go back. And I, I, I just don't, I can't be living around that, you know what I mean? I just hate that my brother has to. But it's hard to find a place when you are in a wheelchair and unfortunately you smoke cigarettes. And at this age, quitting, I mean, what more do we have to do, you know, I mean, everybody's got a voice, that's ours, yeah, you can hear it upstairs, can't you, I bet you can, that don't bother me, They were all worried about if they were going to wake me up, you know, because of the barking. You can hear that. There's big dogs up there. And I told them, no, I, you could, you could have a war outside and I probably wouldn't wake up. The louder it is, the deeper I sleep. I don't know why. But it's always been like that. If you want to wake me up, make it really quiet. I'll be up. I know that's weird, but that's how I've always been. I gotta have some kind of noise. Usually it's the TV, just with the sound, not the, not the picture. Because I can put Star Trek in, and just listening to it, I can see it in my mind, because I've seen it so many times, 
it is Star Trek, really, of the three, you know, the Next Generation, Voyager, and Deep Space Nine, those three, I can, I don't have to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, you know, make a short video, maybe not too short. I am going to take my sewing machine because it is 30, I think, 2 inches wide. And I think I'm going to swap that with this stuff right here. Because between that pole and my bag is 41, I think it said, inches. So it'll fit nicely right there. And then all this stuff can go over there. See, I plan to move all of this. This is stuff that I gotta have for here. But that box with all that's gonna go probably in my shed. And I'm gonna take some of that stuff and put it in my shed. That'll leave that whole area open. And I can put some crates like that. I'm thinking put some here and some over here with a wood board crossed like a shelf. And I can put my stove on that shelf nice and low because I don't like cooking this high. I'd rather cook on the floor. But yeah. And I've got this as my kitchen. And then I got that whole ledge that I can put food and such on. Dishes, whatever. That's kind of the idea. But I gotta get somebody over here. sure how that's going to work out. We have enough milk crates around here. That's not the problem. It's just, you know, is that going to, because it does get wet over there when it rains really hard. That's why my workbench is here. Nothing important. My workbench has been wet many times. But I don't really want my sewing machine to get wet. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if milk crates get wet, they're plastic, who cares? You know, if I keep my food up, you know, it'll keep that safe. And all my dishes and such. Then I could set my stove up. I don't have to keep putting it away every time. That's kind of a pain in the butt. But we're working on it. Oh, and uh, I was told, oh, well, I don't want to name names, but they're looking for a, what do they call it, a laundry sink to put down here. Because there's no sink down here or anything. But yeah, if they if they put a laundry sink down here, uh, the only thing I gotta go upstairs for is to use the bathroom. Take a shower. I never have full access to water, drain, wash my hands, whatever. I already got access to laundry, so all I gotta do is just go around the corner. It's so super convenient. Love that. I don't know if you've seen the last latest earlier videos of me trying to do laundry in the old laundry room. Yeah, that was a trick. I got a lot more room here. First time I ever 
ever lived in a basement. I can tell you that. My knees sure don't like it. <laughs> but they'll get used to it. I just try not to crawl too much. I more or less scoot on my butt if I have to. I remember when I could crawl more than people could walk. <laughs> Not anymore. I guess we're getting old, huh? I haven't been doing too many videos for obvious reasons, but to upload right now is really, really slow. Because I'm doing it through Wi-Fi. I'll have my own Wi-Fi back, which then my computer itself will be hardwired. And the only thing will be on my Wi-Fi is my automation. I miss that. I miss being able to lay in bed and go and shut the lights off. Call me lazy, but yeah, I miss that. That's why I got a smartwatch. That's why I got the automation. But we just haven't gotten that far yet. They gotta run some kind of a wire. Cat 5. And he's a busy man, to put it honestly. It ain't like he's got, you know, oodles of time on his hands, so... I gotta work around his schedule, so, and that's not a big deal. I understand completely. You know, they got their life too. You know. Totally, totally get it. So, I just gotta be patient. Things will happen. We'll get back into a routine eventually, and I'll find all my stuff eventually. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to find. I think there's going to be a lot of stuff I get rid of. Either trash it or donate it. I don't see me selling. Because there ain't much worth money that I'm going to be getting rid of. But I'd sure donate. I don't know, I, I'm just, I don't believe in, like if I've got, let's say a piece of electronics, like an old cell phone, let's say, and I ain't using it, I haven't used it, and somebody needed a cell phone, a lot of people would sell it, especially if it's not that old, not me, I'd be like, here, dang it. Go get it hooked up. One last thing, I gotta recycle. I mean, I, I look at it this way, I got my money out of it. You know, if I had already replaced it, or if I ain't used it in a long time, obviously I got my money out of it. <laughs> so it's all good. It's just how I am. Now that don't mean I'm going to be standing on the street corner giving everything I got away. Of course not. But, you know, if it's just something that's sitting in my way and somebody happens along that needs it, yeah, that's different. Anyway, I think this video is going to be long enough. Maybe one day... I'll make a video with a little bit of, um, um, that in it. Cause I mean, this has got all kinds of, did you see this? Here, hold on, let me show you. This.
just got all kind of stuff in it, you know. I don't know if you can see that. But it's got pianos, studio piano, electric piano, harpsichord, all the good ones, you know. We were an accordion. Oh, now check this out, harmonica. You tell me, does this sound like a harmonica? Sounds more like an organ. <laughs> That's what's weird. Anyway, if I want to play a harmonica, I'll just grab one. Electric guitar. Mute, mute guitar. Wood bass. That's weird. Electric bass. Slap bass. I think you're supposed to do chords with that. A banjo, a violin. All kind of stuff. That's one of my favorites right there. I hate to play anything because, you know, YouTube has a fit about it. I gotta figure out something I can play that's not copyright. Silent Night's not copyright. I argued that with them and won. I had to prove it to YouTube. But they released the claim. I think this even has, um... So like, sound effects in it. Oh, this is a good one. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a bass pad. Thank you. <laughs> Applause, you know. Big crowd. That can't possibly be copyrighted. <laughs> A vehicle. Okay, that's just weird. A phone. use that? Who'd use that? That's just weird. Ain't it? Anyway, it's got all kind of stuff on it. 
I mean, I could go through and spend an hour just and never hit everything. However, once I get this hooked up to that computer, that changes the game altogether. That turns this into a full-on synthesizer with all the bells and whistles. Like any sound you can imagine, we can create. But that's, I gotta get the sound system right. I gotta get the computer. It's been off for a long time. Cause I was not ever able to set this up. Because the old landlord would bitch. Pardon my French. But I get that way when I think about him. Because he's such an a-hole, you know. It's, it's the drugs. Because without the drugs, he's not a bad guy. But anyway, once I get that computer set up, I want to get it all cleaned out because it's a mess. But it's got all my synthesizer softwares, all my music software, everything like that in it. All my music, uh, my, like when I was practicing scales, I could put the scale up on the screen. I had all that in there. It's been a while, but I'll get it eventually. It's going to be a slow process. I'd like to get my buddy Zach over here and go through some more boxes, but I'm shocked he hasn't contacted me trying to visit. <laughs> I kind of expected he would. But, well, he does have a family. And a life. <laughs> Unlike me, I don't have a life. I do the best I can. Right? That's all you can ask. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to on that note. And see what I can get into. I'll bring you back soon. And, you know show you my day, you know, once I get everything arranged right and get into a routine, I'll show you hashtag basement life, <laughs> how about that, peace y'all, thanks for stopping by.